Hey YouTube, uh, it's been a week of working out and I'm not sure if I'm doing everything right. So, and what I mean by that is uh, it's it's really hard for me to take in the food. So, proteins, I haven't bought any vitamins, but proteins has been really hard to just drink down a whole thing. And every time I work out or, you know, in the process of getting to work out, I only worked out twice this week. Um, I felt sore, but uh, the next time I did my workout again, I was able to do a lot more, so I think that's a that's a good like more push-ups and more pull-ups and things of that sort. So I thought that was very good. Um, I was sore the first day, but it wasn't really any extreme sore. It was just like kind of ouch, kind of you know like a little ache here and there, but that was about it. Uh, I did get a massage from my girlfriend, so that made a big difference. Um, I've been I'm not sure if this works or not, but I just started. <laughs> On my second workout after I work out, it's just flex. Uh, I see bodybuilders do it all the time, so obviously I think that might have to do something with getting bigger. Um, I'm not sure if there's like a time you have to hold it for or anything like that. So I figured till I, I can't hold it anymore and it's just hurting. Um, I found out that music helps me a lot so I can really focus on whatever concentration I'm doing. Without music, it seemed like I just wasn't motivated. I'm still not motivated. But it helped out with the motivation. So, um, food. I I started keeping a track, <laughs> and by like Wednesday, I couldn't remember what I was eating and writing it down. Like I just couldn't write it down. I just couldn't remember. Uh, it was really hard for me to get through this first week of working out or two days. But it's a lot more than nothing. So uh, as far as uh, motivation goes, uh, surprisingly, having this uh, YouTube video or you know having to have an update or not you know making an update uh, helped me a lot because that's what I was thinking at the end of the week that I need to get in some workout so I worked out Monday and Friday or maybe it was Tuesday and Friday I can't even remember so uh, food wise I, I did take in uh, as much as I could it's been a lot harder it seems like I just don't have any motivation to eat I'm not hungry so that, that's another thing so I try to force myself to eat which is kind of a pain because then I'm really full and then I don't feel like doing anything. So, as far as mood goes and emotions, uh, I haven't really been more tired. I haven't really had more energy. Uh, Sleep-wise, I'm not going to lie, I don't sleep really at all. So, sleep has been about the same. I kind of started getting on a normal schedule where I go to sleep at like 10, but I wake up at 5 or something like that. So food wise and sleep and everything like that it, it hasn't really been that noticeable of a change so uh I'm trying to think of what else that's about it um i will continue to try to work out i haven't really found like a happy medium where i'm sore and then the next day i want to work out or you know the next the next next day i want to work out so every three days I just work out basically till I feel it where I can't lift the weight anymore really. Sometimes it may be only five minutes so uh, I did upper body. Uh, I think next week I might do lower body and abs so I really don't know what else to say besides motivation wise it's extremely hard to get motivated so uh, I thought about writing down logs on how I was feeling and what I was thinking, but I mean, I couldn't even keep track of my food. So, as far as that's concerned, I don't think I'd, I don't think I could do it, honestly. So, I mean, I couldn't even write down what I was eating. I, I lasted a whole two days. So, I mean, I'd have to video log for you know, force myself to video log to be able to do that. So, uh, I'm gonna continue to YouTube my updates on working out. Uh, I think I'm gonna try to write down what I'm thinking and what I'm feeling afterwards. Uh, I think the massage helped a lot. It just, it just, it was more of an encouragement type thing. Uh, eating, it's just, it's like I get full and I just don't want to do anything. I just want to sit there and let it process, you know. So I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Uh, working out as far, it seemed like it went from like a whole 20 minutes. It, it doesn't even seem like it lasts long. But it seems like I get sore. It's it's like I can feel it in my arms and my, you know, elbows. And I don't want to sit there and keep working out and tear up like a ligament or something like that or muscle and just tear it up. And then I can't work out for like three months. So uh, I think I'm just kind of watching that. So 
uh, that's about it. So, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, I think I'm gonna post on the side link over there or over there. <laughs> uh, my workout. Uh, it, I don't know exactly what they're called, all the things. So I'm gonna have to maybe Google search some of the things. Um, they usually consist of ten, three sets of ten. So don't ask me what are my sets of. Um, I was gonna do sets of twenty, but uh, like the first day with my pull-ups, I, I just I couldn't go past five. So I mean, literally the first day was three sets of five, and the, the last set was a set of three. And I mean, they're good pull-ups. So I mean, that's the other thing is I really focus on getting good push-ups, good pull-ups. You know, like really good ones, not like those retarded people on YouTube that you see. Uh, you know looking like they're humping the ground like mine are real good pull-ups and push-ups uh... i think with the push-ups i'm gonna do a variation of push-ups like you know wider and i've heard of different ones so i don't think my routine as far as working out is gonna change it just it'll be the same but it'll just i'll alternate it same thing with pull-ups you know i can do one grip and then a different grip and then a different grip and uh... there's different ways of doing you know the pull-ups so uh, I'm not sure if three sets of ten is good. Uh, I know you want to do less, uh, less reps, more weight. Uh, I did kind of cheat, and uh, I was doing what I think are like standing flies. I saw a bodybuilder do them, and I really liked the workout. But I'll, I'll look up the actual name. But it just seemed like with those, I wanted to do more weight uh, because I didn't have a uh, like a happy medium where it comes to weight. I have a 20 pound dumbbell. And I couldn't do it with more than a 20 pound dumbbell. Like 20 pound was too much, and five was way too light, and 10 was just you know there was no 15 I guess, and I mean it was just hard for me to do with a 10. So I did a set of 10, a set of 20, or, or something like that. And it's just I guess it's or this week it's been more or less finding motivation and uh, really uh, uh, getting into the habit and then finding like my weight my my I guess what I would say happy mediums and things of that sort where I feel comfortable doing the weight so I'll keep you guys posted uh, see you guys next Friday I'll put the uh, date on the side link so if you want to know what day and what workout it was I'll keep posted on that so uh, I got a YouTube person that uh, sent me a thing about uh, almonds and milk and things of that sort I actually didn't get to do that uh, I didn't went I didn't go buy any food I'd already bought in food I did actually eat a lot of uh, oatmeal so I'm not really a big fan but uh, I heard it's good for you so I mean if it's good for you that's all, all that matters I ate some tuna uh, I've been eating a lot of pizza so I don't know if that's a good or not <laughs> so all right uh, thanks uh, for watching questions or comments or you just want to subscribe and follow me in my process of getting buff or <laughs> feel free so thanks bye